Okay, so these are the Dokio 300 watt, 36 volt portable solar panels. They don't have any um, kickstands or anything, unfortunately, which, but they were cheap. They're under a dollar a watt. Um, I've got one of them plugged into my All Powers R1500 right now, and it's charging at about 182 watts, which I was hoping for more. It's about, it's early February though, and it's around noon. Um, I don't know what that means. I guess, you know, what did I expect for um, under a dollar a watt? But I figured I'd give them a try. I mean, I guess it'll do. Let me see. Um, I'm just gonna try and plug in the other one, see if that one's any better. Okay, the second solar panel, it's working at 171 watts. 172, okay, well, don't know. It's, yeah, not great, unfortunately. Maybe in the summertime I can get closer to the 300 watts. I was hoping I'd get at least 200 watts. But here we are. Um, now I'm gonna try and put them together in series. Here we are with the panel set up in parallel. Um, 347. Um, I guess that's decent, considering, you know, with parallel, the maximum amperage I can get is 13 amps, and this is going to be, which is, these things are just going to generate more amperage than, in parallel, than I can actually take in, so, and that's about it. I mean, you can overamp it, and it'll just, it'll just bottleneck it down. Um, you can't do too much voltage on these, though. If you overdo the voltage, you're kind of screwed. But I can go up to 95 volts, which is why I want to try series. Um, so far, I haven't gotten it to work. I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong with the cables or what, but um, I'll keep Okay, I've got it up and running in uh, series. And 371 watts. I was kind of hoping I'd get to like 500 or so. I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe... Maybe I need, maybe I should return these panels. Um, I'm really wanting to get to about, I mean, I can go up to 650 with this thing. And that's really what I wanted. And this is just over halfway to where I wanted them. So I'm not sure about this anymore. Maybe I should return these panels. Um, but we're getting something at least. I mean, we should be able to combine the wattage on both of them. I was getting, what, 180, 170? That's about 300 and... Okay, yeah. That's, that is about twice what each one is. Oh, oh well. I'll have to think about this, but the, these are the Dokio 300 watt, 36 volt solar panel, um, portable solar panels. Um, and yeah, not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. I may just decide to return them. Some serious rearranging. Um, right here, where I, at my latitude, I'm supposed to have a 45 degree angle. So, this is about as close as I can get. This one's a little under. That one's a little too high, but I just don't have any way of propping them up properly just yet. So, I'll have to work on that. And with all of this gone through, I am getting, uh, where is it, can you see it, 415 watts, you know, I think I'll take it, Ugh. I think about 480 is, you know, what most people should expect out of a, out of 600 watts, and, and these were cheap. I mean, I mean, they're monocrystalline ETFE coatings, coated, so they're, you know, they're good for, I mean, they're made of the expensive stuff, but they're still, you know, under a, under a dollar a watt is for portable solar panels. 
Oh. I wonder if I could, I'd try to hook up a third one, but I think that would be too much voltage. Anyways, I think this will do for now. And yeah, I guess I'm happy with it. If I found better conditions, better way to set these up, I'd probably be doing a very reasonable amount of power here. I mean, I guess it is a reasonable amount of power. I mean, to get to that 480 watt, <sighs> I'm babbling. Okay. So, yep, that's it. That's the Dokio 36 watt, or, sorry, 36 volt, 300 watts each. Um, portable solar panels from Amazon. I guess I'll try and link it in the description. Might as well. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> All right. Take care now.